Now, before we dive in, if you find my videos useful, make sure to click that subscribe button and also make sure to click that bell icon on the side to get notified every time I upload a new video. And of course, if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, make sure to follow me on all at Saki Tech Online, also for the latest updates. All right, let's dive in. Hey guys, Sock here from Saki Tech, and in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the new beta for Samsung One UI 2.0. So this is in fact beta number seven. Samsung has been pumping beta after beta, so we have even more improvements to our Samsung Galaxy uh, S10 Plus right over here with this newest beta. So let me go to the settings real quick, just to verify this is in fact uh, One UI 2.0. So go to about phone, go to software information, uh, boom, we've got One UI 2.0 and Android version 10. Tap this a couple times, we got the Android 10 logo, all right? And then go right back into settings and then go to software update and that's the latest update that I performed today just a couple minutes ago, okay? So that's One UI beta 7 and here is full change log of everything that has been actually fixed and what is new. So they haven't really added any new features. We have the same One UI 2.0 as we did the last time, but they did squash a lot of bugs. We were having some uh, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth stability issues that have been addressed. And also when you were recording video, the camera stabilization features were a little bit off, so that's been fixed as well. And if you pause the video, you can read this entire thing uh, from top to bottom to see all the new changes that they have added in this uh, seventh beta. And of course, as is with every beta, uh, the smoothness has been improved. The phone feels even more fluid now. Um, let's just uh, do some things over here. Let's just, uh, let me just launch a couple applications. And one thing that I've noticed that I did not notice the last time uh, for some reason, uh, because uh, I do look at these things quite often, is uh, when you have the navigation uh, gestures to full screen gestures, you are able to access your Google Assistant from the corners over here. So I can go like this to activate Google Assistant. So that's pretty good. Now here's the funny thing. Uh, in my last videos, I mentioned the fact that if you go into the um, uh, advanced features and if you go into the uh, one-handed mode, uh, the gestures for this have changed, okay? Uh, the old gesture on One UI 1.5 and 1.1 right now, if you go to this option, is the ability to activate the one-handed mode if you swipe from the corner upwards, okay? Now it's changed to this. So all you do is this, and it actually uh, activates a one-handed mode. Uh, the clear reason that they changed this gesture uh, from this, uh, from, the, from the corner to up, is because now when you swipe from the corners to up, it actually launches Google Assistant, all right? So that's something I did not notice before, but I'm uh, aware of it now. So now if you want to enable the one-handed mode, you just go like this, which is actually a very good idea, all right? But other than that, really, it's the same as before. I made a video about the One UI Beta 6. Everything looks nice and clean. Uh, if I tap on the folders, they expand nice and slow. If I tap anywhere on the screen, it goes down. Tap on this again, tap on that to pick colors. Go inside here to pick a uh, color palette. So everything feels nice and smooth. There's no question about that, all right? Let me just check on this one. All right, it's even smoother than before. So I'm loving what they're doing over here. Uh, like I said, this phone right now is actually fully usable. So if there's anybody out there that was holding back on getting the beta because it might have a lot of crashes, I mean, ever since the One UI Beta 6, this phone has been working very well. There's gonna be bugs here and there. They're gonna squash those bugs, but the phone runs real nice. Let's go to the settings. The scrolling is great. We've got that new device care that I talked about. We've got the battery over here. Uh, when you go inside, everything is faster, like I said, okay? Uh, on, the, on the first beta, when I tapped on this one, it took a while for this to actually show up after checking the memory. Now it's immediate, and I tap on clean now. Again, works nice and fast. That's uh, fantastic. Go back out over here, all right. Uh, not much to talk about, really. Everything is the same as before. Uh, if you do have any questions, comments, or concerns, drop them down below and let me know. Uh, and if also, if you want to go ahead and update to the uh, beta seven, all you do is tap on software update and tap on download and install. And if you're lucky, you're gonna get the next beta. Uh, for people that are trying to sign up for the beta, what you can do is you can go to the uh, Samsung members application. Let me just search for that real quick. By the way, the search function works real nice at this point. 
before it was slow and it was stuttery. So if I tap on this one, uh, you go to Samsung members and what's going to happen is right here, you're going to see sign up for the beta option if you want to sign up and check out what's happening. All right. Like I said, the phone is very stable, so you should not have a big problem signing up for the beta. This is beta number seven. On the Samsung Galaxy Note 10, we have beta number one. So I wouldn't recommend that one for daily use, but this is fine for the Note uh, for the S10. All right, guys, have a fantastic day for now. All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech Online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.